Well, SEPTA's security force under the microscope tonight. After a series of violent incidents, the Transit Police Union says the program of hiring non-sworn security officers just isn't working. Here's our Marcus Espinoza. I believe we definitely need a lot more of transit police, not security guards. The Fraternal Order of Transit Police officially sent a letter to SEPTA's General Manager Leslie Richards and SEPTA's Board of Executives asking them to bring an end to its security guard program. In the letter, Omari Burvine states several instances of security guards causing issues with transit police and riders. The most recent troubling incident happened on Saturday when this security guard is seen striking a rider with an object. I think he hit him in the head with something out of his book bag. SEPTA says it's believed the rider tried to take the guard's bag. FOTP say regardless, these workers aren't properly trained for these intense situations. Taj Edwards is a frequent SEPTA rider and says he takes the Market Frankfurt line all the time where this took place. He says the guards can be overwhelmed quickly. He said he saw a female guard unable to control a situation this morning. They can only but do so much and they were trying to argue with her, trying to get physical with her and she's only a security guard. She has nothing to defend herself. In a statement released on Sunday, SEPTA defends the use of its $1.5 million program saying, quote, this has helped with efforts to enhance the visual security presence at stations and allied guards pass along information to SEPTA police as needed for further investigation. This has been a successful effort and SEPTA plans to continue the security guard program. This comes four weeks after a different security guard with SEPTA was seen on camera beating someone up viciously. That person has since been fired and is in custody as transit police investigate. Edwards says the bottom line is more police need to be present. Security guards can secure, but to an extent, we need that support and the police down there only because it's getting so bad. It's a lot of theft, a lot of like smoking. The Fraternal Order of Transit Police say they only have 180 officers right now on staff, and they hope that set to reinvest that money into hiring more police officers for the trains. In Center City, Marcus Espinosa, Fox 29 News.